Okay, so I am doing my first nail tutorial today. Um, I'm using a tripod, etc, etc. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do my nails from start to finish, which would mean from taking off this polish to finishing and all the steps in between. Um, I'm just going to show you what I use, um, some of the products that I really like. I'm just going to get these out of the way really fast. Um, how I do it. How I start is I normally put down a piece of just paper. It can be any scratch paper that you don't need anymore. So all those like handouts that you get in class that you don't need anymore, just do it on there. Um, sometimes I find that nail polish soaks through paper towels, but it doesn't soak through paper. So I'm just using a normal piece of paper. The polish remover that I'm using is actually just acetone. Um, really, really bad for your fingers. I am aware of that. This is the CVS one, but it's really fast and really strong and it takes everything off like no other. Um, I'm also going to use some of the Remove Plus that I got from Zoya. That's what it looks like. It's a nail prep as well as um, a nail cleaner and it's a little less harsh on your cuticles. So I'm going to take the majority off with this and then I'm going to take the rest of it off with this. So I'm just going to use a cotton ball for that. What I do is I just press, wait 10 seconds, and then the majority of it will just slide off. So you see that? Most of it just came off. I'm using cotton balls for this. Um, tissues really don't work. If you're desperate, you can use a tissue. But um, I suggest using cotton balls or cotton pads. And then just get all the polish off. Okay. So you can see that I have the majority of the polish off, not all of it. From there, I'm just going to go in with my Remove Plus and finish up just um, cleaning it off and getting all the good stuff, all the tiny little cracks and everything out of, out of there, and then I'll see you after that. So before I put anything on my nails, I normally treat my hands, and this is every time I do it, just um, to make sure that my hands are healthy. Um, I treat my hands to a little bit of lotion and some cuticle stuff, just, you know, to keep everything happy and healthy. Um, one of my favorite things is this Healthy Hoof um, Intensive Protein Treatment. It's a cream, it's a cuticle cream, and my friend Kate was actually the one that introduced me to this. Um, she said her mom used it all the time, and I used it once, and I fell in love with it, so I got my own. Um, they have these at CVS, and they're like $5, I think, and you get um, a lot of product. Um, this is what it looks like. You get quite a bit of product in there. Um, I've had this for about two years, and I've barely used half of it. Um, something that I've recently just started getting into is the CND soil, solar oil, sorry, the solar oil, and it is a cool, wow, I can't talk today, a nail and cuticle conditioner, and it's, you just brush it on your cuticles and massage it in. And then there's the um, Cutica Cool Therapy Lotion Lightweight Therapeutic Organic, and so I'm just going to rub this on my hands first. Um, I'm probably going to... Do this on my nails and around my cuticles next and then this is going to be last. I'll just show you how to do that after I use the hand cream. This is about as much as I ever use of that. It's nice and minty and um, this is really silly that I'm showing you doing this but I'm just doing it so I can talk while I do it. Um, it's nice and minty. It is very cooling so it's pretty relaxing for the hands. Um, I just let it rub in. I sink in. I let it sink in for a couple of minutes, maybe three to four minutes and then I go in with my cuticle cuticle cream and then cuticle oil. So I'm just going to use this, which is my healthy hoof stuff. I'm going to take a little bit on my middle finger and then on the other middle finger and I just rub it into my nails. And then I just massage it in. And I also let this sit for a couple of minutes, maybe three to four. This one smells like lavender, so it's kind of nice. Apparently it's used for like equestrian trainers or something. I like it. Works for me. It makes my nails feel a lot stronger as well. And then the last thing I'm going to do is use the CND Solar Oil. What it is, it's just, it's a nice cuticle oil. It smells like almonds. And I just take it like that, like nail polish, I just brush it onto my cuticles um, and underneath as well. Then I just massage that in. And I'm going to let this sit for five minutes. And then I'm going to run my hands under some warm water to get all the oil off. And then I'm going to paint my nails. So I'll see you after that. 
So I got my fingers nice and clean. Um, I am now going to start doing some painting. Um, what I do is I use two base coats and then I do the color and then I do a top coat and some drip dry. Um, let's see, where are my base coats? The two base coats that I use are the OPI Ridge Filler and the Sesh Clear Base Coat. Um, I use two just because I like having a couple layers between my actual nails and the polish so that it doesn't stain my nails and there's a little bit more protection in them. And the Ridge Filler actually smooths everything down and then this makes everything stick really well so that's why I do it. Um, I'm going to start with the Ridge Filler. This dries pretty quickly. Um, this is just standardly one coat of it on each nail, like this. Um, I've actually just used ridge, ridge filler and a clear coat on top, and it gives quite a nice little finish. It gives you the slightest bit of color, because um, it is white, but it's a very natural sort of creamy color. And that dries fairly quickly, as you can see it's not shiny anymore, it's pretty much matte now, so um, that's when you know it's dry. I'm going to go in now with my Sesh Clear um, Base Coat, it's called Crystal Clear Base Coat. So just a really thin layer of that as well. And you can always do one or the other, I just like doing both. If you hear like pitter patter in the background, that is actually the rain. It is raining where I live right now. Um, and I'm loving it because I love the rain. The Sesh base coat dries pretty fast as well, so once you got that down, you're ready for your colors. The colors that I'm going to use today are actually just um, an orange and a matte black. This is the orange I'm using. It's by OPI, and it is called In My Back Pocket, if you can see that. Probably not, but it's called In My Back Pocket. Nice bright orange. A little tip that I learned from Julie G17 is um, when your nail polish sits like this for a really long time, it'll separate so the colors will sort of layer out. Um, instead of shaking it because that gives it bubbles, you just roll it in your hands and it'll mix up for you. Um, so that's what I did and it's starting to mix up already pretty nicely. But I'm just going to get this um, on my thumb index, middle, and pinky, and then on my ring finger I'm going to do a matte black. This is just my OPI mini matte black nail polish. Um, Orly makes a matte black as well, and if you have just a normal matte black and then a matte top coat, you could use that. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'll start with the orange. I'm just going to have these out and open and ready to go. So I like to get all the polish off of one side like that. And then since these brushes are so big, you can pretty much just cover the nail in one sweep. I like to still just do one in the middle and two on the sides. And then I'm just gonna paint my nails. And I'm just going to do one coat of the matte black on my ring finger. Not only is this great for Halloween, but if you are a Giants fan, which is my home team baseball team, they just made it to the World Series, and this will be a fun... Um, Giant's manicure, I guess. So since the orange is pretty sheer, I'm just going to do another coat of it on top. You can even do three coats if you wish. I'm just going to do two for now. Something I like to do, just in case so it doesn't shrink back, is to um, overlap my nail polish. So what I do is I just take a little bit and then on the brush and just run it along the edge like that and then smooth it over with more color on top. Um, 
that's something I should have done with the second coat on all of these. But I do that just so that the color doesn't chip as easily. Let's show you that again. So go like that. Um, yeah, your fingers are going to get a little bit dirty because of that. So now I'm going to go in with my Sesh Feet um, Dry Fast Top Coat and my OPI Drip Dry Drops. I'm going to do it on all the orange nails, not on the black nails because the black nails are matte and um, we're going to do some nail art on them afterwards. I'm just going to take um, the brush, do the same overlap thing that I just did. So take it like that and then go over it. And then that'll make your nail polish last longer. And then after that, I just do one drop of the drip dry again, not on the matte finger, but on all the other ones. Um, I do two on my thumb just because it's bigger. Now for the fun part of this tutorial, on my black matte nail, I'm going to get the Conad Special Nail Polish in white. And then I'm going to get my Bundle Monster Plate, which is from Amazon. It's a Phonad. Um, company. I'm going to get BM13, which has the spider web on it. I'm going to use the white special polish to just paint over the spider web like every other Conad nail tutorial. Get the scraper, scrape away the excess, get the large side of the stamper, stamp, and get the spider web on there. So you get that cool spider web like that, if you can see it. And I like it just halfway on the nail. I don't know, I'm, no, I'm not going to use the whole design, I'm just going to use part of it to get halfway on the nail. I'm going to do that on the other side now. So like that. And then just stamp right on there. You got yourself a spider web. Um, that's the most simple nail tutorial ever. Um, you can also do some other more fun designs and I'll show you some of the plates that I was thinking of. You can do any of these full nail designs um, with just the black on the orange if you like or the white on the black. Um, this is the Conad Plate M60. This is Conad Plate M57. This one is Conad Plate M13, which just has a bunch of Halloween stuff. So there's a skull, a, you know, a pumpkin, some blood spatter, uh, a doll. Here's BM17, which also comes with the Bundle Monster stuff. So you can have, like, French-tipped um, black checkers and stuff. This is Conad Plate M28. It has a skull on it, which would be really cute as well. And then this is Bundle Monster Plate number BM04. It has a cute little cat on it, which you could use on um, either black or orange nails. So that was my really quick Halloween nail tutorial. I hope that this was helpful to anyone. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you guys have a fun and safe Halloween. Bye!